Hello, uh, in this part we'll be setting up the camera. Uh, the problem with the current uh, default camera is that it allows for uh, indefinitely to zoom in and zoom out, which breaks the illusion. And uh, it also allows for viewing the model from below. So uh, in order to set up the camera, let's edit first because we still uh, don't have any camera in our project so and we'll be doing this by going to to by activating this our viewport and going to views create physical camera from view so let's create a camera and uh, uh, we see that its target uh, here it uh, it will be corresponding to verge 3d's orbiting point for the interactive camera so we need to uh, move uh, the target a bit so that it are located somewhere near the model uh, for example for example, let it be located uh, in the middle of the front surface here. So something like this, something like this, so that it rotates around this point. So we can immediately check it. Yes, it looks like it rotates uh, near this point. Uh, this is great and uh, let's set up the limits uh, let's select the camera uh, go to the modify tab and check the panel which is called verge for the camera params uh, we can actually to disable panning right away because now it uh, it is possible to pan the view uh, we can leave it actually maybe for some advanced users who want to pan the view so no matter actually uh, and here we can change the rotate speed move speed if you want and the most important what we want to do is to change the limits so the minimal distance uh, which will be allowed for the camera to close to the target will be say 2 and uh, the maximum will be for example 5 um, we can also limit the uh, the possibility to view from uh, below by specifying angle vertical angle uh, let's specify it at 85 degrees so let's check it okay so we cannot close go too close to the model now and we cannot go too far and we cannot view from below that's what we wanted so um, let's eat with the camera see you later